We'll make some more pumpkin seed sunfish because I really like the way they turned out. We're doing a different camera setup because we're not using that one. We're using my iPad. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so we need to find my pumpkin seed sunfishes. Ah, here they are. And we're going to paint a couple more of these because I like them. And I have great plans for these little guys. Great plans. So let's wash them off. I have not, obviously. Put the base coat on here. Let's put them in our little helping hands. Make sure we do it right side up, both of them, because that's very important. Or else one will be upside down. <laughs> So we're trying some new a new wireless mic. Look at that. Hopefully you'll hear me better. Different camera setup. So we don't lose our camera like we usually do. And uh, just uh, what we're going to do. Should be enough. Drop of water. Toothpick. Oh. We can mix it. Mix, 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 mix. So we're just trying something different today. Not for this, but for this. Because, you know, it just drives me crazy that we keep losing video feed on this camera. And No Redemption Outdoors sent me these. Figured we're going to try them here at home. And then Monday we're going to try them out on the field. Not in the field. So that'll be really fun. Which, by the way, I told you that we should put them both right side up. Um, they're upside, one's upside down. It's okay, this is white, so it's okay. <laughs> so we'll, we'll put them right side up after we dry, do a flash dry on these. I do. Should paint it this way. Right, white, white base. <coughs> Let's do a flash dryer. So, I'm gonna get this sort of tilted a little bit more. Sort of play with this a little bit. So we are going to go. I'm going to put a pearlized turquoise on it. Yeah. But we're going to thin it out so it's very light with the white that I've already got in there. So we'll do two drops into that white. See what it looks like. <coughs> Come on. Oh, 
It'll come up any second. <laughs> Turn this one right side up. Very important. As I mentioned already, now we're just going to coat it with this uh, turquoise. pretty good. Starting to look pretty good. There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. It really is very pretty. All right, so now we need this. Both these, my two stencils. So, going to focus pretty much on the two thirds up on these stencils. And then the bottom third is going to be orange. All right. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Really are very pretty fish. The pumpkin seed sunfish is the prettiest fish we have in our area. And it's one of the prettier fishes that you're going to catch in a regular lake. It's a panfish, like a crappie, tastes fantastic. 
I always catch and release these though. It's just too pretty to keep. You know, it's just too pretty. So, welcome aboard. Anybody? Oh, they left. They came and left. <clears throat> All right, so, got them dry. So now we're going to take, we're going to just do some dots on it. right now. We're going to add another pattern over it. Now we're going to add this pattern over it. shooting for right there that's what we're shooting for do the eye sockets. Then we'll add the orange in a second. Okay, so now we clean our brush. And that, so far, is what we've got for our pumpkin seed sunfish. So let's get our little cleaning jar. Rinse this out. And we're going to do an orange. Again, this is the, this is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Obviously, with the purple and the turquoise in the background and orange on it. This fish puff. Now, what I'm, I plan on doing with this particular lure is different because uh, it is a lipless crank. Um, but I will, the buyer can have two options: two hooks or a, a spinner on the back with one hook. And that really is, I think, going to be the winner winner fishy dinner. Hey, Eagle Fire! What is a pumpkin seed sunfish? Well, you can Google it. <laughs> but it's a panfish, like a crappie, except much more colorful. Much more colorful. Hey, Val! <laughs> Valerie likes my pumpkin seed sunfish. And I do too. 
So I'm going to paint a bunch of them. I was really ah, waiting to get uh, uh, that stencil in for it. All right. So now we're going to take a pearlized uh, orange, or tangerine in this case, and we're going to add that to it on the bottom. We're going to use that same stencil. The same stencil. And we're going to put this pearlized, which is real glittery, on the bottom. There we go. So, I'm going to take the same stencil right here. And we're going to put it right on the bottom section, just like that. And we're going to do that. markings for the most part. Awesome possum. All right, so now basically work the bottom here. We have ba, 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 a pumpkin seed sunfish. It's very cool looking, huh? <laughs> I think it's a very, very pretty fish. So we're going to put that just a little bit. Right around the eye. Just give it a little bit of a glow. Almost like tinting around the gills there. That's what we're doing there. Just tinting it. I'm just getting the glows to glow. The gills to glow. Very cool looking. Look at those. That is very cool looking. <laughs> hey Matt. Hey Brandon. I don't know if you saw my unboxing, Brandon, but you got an honorable mention. <laughs> Just a little bit more than that. There we go. All right, that looks good, guys. That looks really good. What do you think? It's pretty, huh? 
very pretty. Let's do a flash dry, clean our brush out. Bam! <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, you're at the end of it. So you, gotta go, you gotta watch the whole thing or fast forward. <laughs> But uh, it's, uh, you know, I just got to thank you guys more and more and more and more and more for what I got to do. Valerie's like one of my official moderators. I got your address, but Valerie, so I know you like this bait. I know you like this bait. You just start, you know, you like thank you gifts to everybody, you know. When we have our regular drawings too, you're going to see some really cool stuff on my drawings. Um, Going to go to the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. My wife's going to go with me. She's never been there. Donate those 30 fish or so that I caught yesterday. And uh, that'll be fun. I always like going over there. They're so appreciative, you know, as you know, we think they would be. So, hey, we need we need 50 eyes. And let's see. I do one. I went red, right? Black and red. Black and red on those. So let's get those guys out. Here they are. All right. Let's turn these guys on their side, nice and level for the eyes. And. Make sure it fits perfectly. There it does. And then we get the glue. We get the glue. That's always when they come alive. <laughs> Six and a half inch worm. What would you name? What color? A six and a half inch worm. What color? Um, six and a half inch worm. I can name the bait. Uh, let me think. Okay, so I'm sort of a dragon fan. I don't know if you notice that in my art. I do a lot of dragons. It's really cool. I always thought dragons were cool. So, if you got a six and a half inch worm, I'm thinking dragon's tongue. <laughs> the dragon's tongue. Oh, well that wasn't supposed to happen. I shot it off the stupid thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't let that glue dry. That's why you always have it prepared. Stupid thing. Always have it ready. Which you know it shot away, it's on the floor someplace. The dragon's tongue lure worm. That sounds cool. Dragon's tongue. Dragon's tongue. <laughs> That's what I name it. I name it the dragon's tongue. 
like dragons. Didn't have one ready. <laughs> Come here. Tough to grab that thing. I don't know why. Such a hard time grabbing. Oh yeah, they look good. All right. All right. All right. What did you guys say about Dragon Sun? You don't like my name? Who doesn't love dragons? I know. Everybody loves dragons. Dragons are awesome, man. You know that once Rome, they really did exist. They've actually found uh, up to 200 different species in just North America in archaeological finds. You know that? Probably didn't know that. Now, mind you, they did fly. They were reptilian. But I'm pretty sure they didn't breathe fire. But you know what? There's got to be some... some folk liberties, you know, folk story liberties on it, and you know, I'm saying, over 200 varieties of dragons at one time, They're the largest bird ever to be recorded was the uh, Argentinius gigantus, that bird up until about 150 years ago, existed. Yeah, fairly recently. And um, it had a, exceeded a 20 foot wingspan. Now, if you saw that bird flying over you, you probably think it was a dragon too. But it was called the Argentinia gigantis. Obviously, down in Argentina. <laughs> But 20 foot wingspan on that thing. That's amazing to me, anyway. What an amazing sight that would have been to see a bird the size of an airplane over you. That's cool. Man, now that looks really good. Doesn't it? I think so. Not a hard pattern, really. It really isn't that hard to paint, obviously, because we did it in, what, 30 minutes. So now, let's put the eyes away. And we need some uh, paper clips. And then we gonna dip. Dip them and clear coat them. It'll be nice, shiny, and beautiful. Yeah, I like the uh, pearlescence on it. Looks really, really good. It was a little bit more of a shimmer. I like that about it. Dragon's tongue. Thanks, Brandon. That sounds cool. I mean, think about it. You'll be the only guy selling the dragon's tongue for fishing. You'll be the only one. It'll set you apart from all others. <laughs> yep, you'll be unique. I mean, that's what you got to do. I mean, you just got to you gotta have something. You know, when people say Dragon Sun, they know. Fishing the Southeast. That's what they're going to think. Because you know what? Ain't, ain't nobody else got it. All right, time to dip. Woo. 
this really is. Besides putting the eyes on, this is actually a cool thing. Hey, Randall. <laughs> so we just got done making some more pumpkin seed sunfish. Now, I, I have some spinners coming in. I don't want to put them on, you know, put on it. Um, and uh, this will be a combination spinner hook on it. So, so let's dip it. Uh, I need another one. Okay, good. Bring it up slowly. And that, that is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bait. I like this one. I like this one a lot. That's why I wanted to make more of them because I shall be fishing with them. But this one, a person can order it with two hooks or one hook and a spinner on the back side. So um, I think this one will work really good as a spinner. I think uh, you'll catch everything with it. Really will catch everything with it. All right, put it on my rack. This is, you know, again, I'll be fishing this one. I'll be fishing this one on Monday. Yeah, you gotta love apple. It won't, it won't focus up close. Yeah. Well, apple. Silly company. Make us buy something that's overpriced, made in China. We can't even. Yeah. You know, when I was in China, in Shenzhen, the apple plant. Now, you give hats off to Apple for one thing. They do give the highest wage. But you want to know what the highest wage is that they give? $175 a month. That's what they give. $175 a month. People work 60 hour weeks. And they make $175 dollars it's just that's the highest wage their buildings have suicide parapets and stuff on it that's very pretty families are forced to live together in overcrowded conditions and yet, Apple, that's not going to work. I mean, I need to clean one off, don't I? Ooh. I got this one. This one's all done. Just needs a cure for another day. There we go. There we go. Pumpkin seed sunfish. That's what that is. That's pretty. I will. I have to. I have to. I got to do it on that that thing because my phone doesn't have Instagram, but that has it. Uh, bass ma bass magnets. Bass magnet baits. <laughs> I, I don't, you know, I. The reason I have this iPad is because somebody gave it to me. That's why I got it. So, so, um, I got these. These are new. It's a medium dive ultralight. That's what these are. Let's do these. Let's do those. Let's do those. All right. What do you think those should be? Anybody got a suggestion? Otherwise, I pick. What should I paint next? Let's 
see any any suggestions. What do you think, Brandon? If you're Apple, you know what I hate about Apple? There's no back button. No back button on an Apple. I mean, what's the? You need a back button, right? Am I the only one that thinks you need a back button? They don't give you a back button. No back button. So it's funny, funny spoon on this thing. All right, yeah, that's, but I mean, they're tough. Don't get me wrong, but those lasted a long time. Gotta give it that. But I don't, I don't like that. I don't like the fact I can't expand the, expand the memory on it. Nothing like that. A green gizzard shad or a crap. Well, this isn't the right shape for a crappie. It's not the right shape for a crappie. So, but but a, sh a green gizzard shad we could do that we gotta pull up a picture of one so I can work my magic but that would actually work out a green gizzard shad would work out really good let me pull up a picture of one Green Gizzard Shad. Green Gizzard Shad. There we go. Let's see what it looks like. Images. Let's see what it looks like. Dun, dun, dun. It's loading. Takes too long on that. Let's go over to the computer. Get the computer up. Get, give me a bigger picture anyway. Alright, come on. It turned itself off, so it takes a second. There it is. So, green. Sort of got a green back, the rear left target. Any real? Oh, here. Uh, Missouri. A Missouri fish. Alright. I see I see why they call it a green gizzard. It's got green along its back. A little bit of brown. White. Over. All right, first we got to put down white anyway, so we got to lay our base coat. So you guys can see it, huh? <laughs> this is good. So nope, let's clean this out. Finish cleaning it out.
bring it all back in. Got to grab it nice and clean. So we're going to go white. We're going to put pat sort of a scale pattern on it too. So I'm going to put a scale pattern on it. All right, Brandon. This is the not exciting part anyway, just putting a white coat down on it. And, uh, and that up. We're going to use that white. Oops. Come on, it's clogged. On it. Where's my paint? Yeah, that'll do it. That'll unclog it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Well, that's how you unclog it. <laughs> Put your finger on it and blow it backwards. We got two different ones. I grabbed two different ones. Well, we're going to do Green Gizzard Chat in two different patterns. Two different ones. One's much smaller than the other. Didn't notice I did that. But that's all right. Variety. dry those and now I'm going to use my netting we're going to add scales to it And all silver has a little bit of blue in it. As I have taught you guys on my previous webcasts. Just a little bit. Uh, 
witch's brew, isn't it? Clean up on aisle six. Found half turn later, right? Right? There we go. We're good. <laughs> We're good! Oops. Some black paint. A little bit, but you know, it's acrylic. It'll come off. Alright. What was I doing? I was making a gray silver one night. Silver. There it is. There's my silver. Silly me. Silly me. Those should be dry. <laughs> yeah, I dropped paint. I spilled paint. All right, so I got my gray, <laughs> my silver. There it is. So now we're going to take our little guys and uh, we're going to put scales on them. Take this out. I'm going to take this, stick it on that, and paint right through it. And voila, you get scale. <laughs> now we do the bigger one. Hi, Jim. Well, the 
things I go through. <laughs> I'll tell you, I was so tired after yesterday's fishing. I mean, I slept for 10 hours. I mean, I was tired. I never, ever sleep for 10 hours, but I did last night, man. Alright, we got scales, scales, scales. So, we got scales. So, now we got our scales. Do a little quick dry. Bam. So, now, we got to do green. A light green, because it's a, what are we doing? A green, gill, shad thing. So, Yeah. Now we're going to do the green. There's some brown too. So, I'm going to Put some green up on the top shoulders of this lure. I'm gonna make it fairly light green. And it really is just a touch. Looks like just a hint of green on its back. Turquoise is the wrong green now. So we are going to make our own with transparent blue and yellow. So let's put some yellow in there. And we're going to get some blue. Just a tad bit of blue to make that a green that we like. Well, that looks like a good green. And it's in a transparent, so we're still we're basically going to put it over that, those scales. Is what we're doing. We don't want to hide the scales, though. Yellow. Should not be yellow. I don't want yellow, although 
No harm, no foul right now. It's green. And a little darker. That's green. Sure looks yellow to me though. I'm gonna put it on. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Take black. Yeah. That is going to go there, there, and mix. Airbrushes are so funny. Gotta get all the green I want. There's my book. There's the darker, darker, darker. Bam. Okay, now we do its backbone. a yellowish green gizzard. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> hey Randall. <laughs> Jay. Alright, so there's definitely brown there. So we're gonna mix some brown. I'm gonna clean this out. I like brown. I think brown is very cool natural looking fish color. I mean, a lot of fish have brown in them. You may not see it, I mean, notice it, but a lot of fish do. It's a very natural shade for fish. And this oh, stupid computer went to sleep. See that, right? There we go. So we're going to go with cocoa beans. Cocoa beans. This is actually craft paint. This isn't it. Um, so this comes out real thick. We got our 
thin it like two to one. Really thick. It's like pudding. Like pudding. In order to get this to flow through an airbrush. Looks good though. <laughs> All right, so this is just around the gills and up that body. So that looks good. Let's do the little guy. idea. Let's flash dry those. I got an idea. Because ideas come and go. Let's take it while it's come and before it goes we're going to uh, spray some pearlized platinum over the top. Just mist it. It'll give it more of a uh, shimmer. Excuse me. It's all that time on a frozen lake. I'm going to clean this out real good. I'm going to put white on it. <coughs> Excuse me again. It looks really good, guys. Those look really good. Well, you know what? We'll do a pearlized bottom on it, too. We'll do a pearlized bottom and then sort of mist the top with the pearlized platinum. That's what we'll do. It'll look great. I'm sure of it. just me. Let's try to get those out of your way a little bit. You can see me better. So 
So now, at the bottom's all sparkly. So now I want the sides a little sparkly. Just a little. We're misting it from a distance. Wow. Wow. That's all I got to say about those is wow. Wait till you see them in a sec. They look great. They really look great. Those look great. <laughs> All right, now we got to pick some eyes, right? We got to pick some eyes. Yellow eyes, huh? Guys have yellow eyes. Yellow eyes always look cool. And I got them. They're perfect. Look at that. Those are just wilds. Tiny little eyes on them. Whew. Tiny, tiny. Tiny. I got them. I got them. Good night, Richard. Probably missed you a second ago. I don't know. Yeah. It's late in, late in the UK. That I understand. It's amazing we can be such buds, mates, and have such a big difference in time zones. The yellow eye looks great on it. Wow. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. But these are like, these are works of art when you think about it. They're my works of art. And, you know, it's always cool when you see a finished painting that you worked hard and envisioned in your head. Thank you. 
this makes me nervous. Bye bye. Man, these look good, guys. Two of my better ones right there. Two of my better ones. Always drop stuff. I call it purgatory for a reason. And I got one, two, two there. shine. These things look so good. These things look so good. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Green gill lizard. Giz, giz, gizzard shad. <laughs> Green gill lizard thing. <laughs> oh, Brandon thought it up. <laughs> it's that thing. Well, it was that thing. Screen went to sleep again. Wow. Look at that. That thing turned out beautiful. Magic. This is the magic. Well, that thing is just like. Oh my 
goodness. That is just way down there, isn't it? There we go. Tough to get that in there, so let's bend that. Got to push it away some. All right, here we go. Number one is the big one. Wow. Look at that. That accent of brown, awesome on it. I'm putting the pearl platinum on it. Worked out real well. That's pretty. I'd be proud to fish this, or anybody would. Anyone would be proud to fish this. Okay. Look at that. plan comes to fruition. Alright. Let's unwrap this other one. This is a smaller one. Just as pretty. Just as pretty. Just as pretty. Wow. All I can keep saying is wow on these. Good idea, Brandon. Okay, here he goes. Have a... Uh, you wonder... They're all sort of fouled. Dip them. Worry about it in a second. Oh, gosh, guys. That. That is stunning. That is stunning. Wow. That's all I can say. I keep saying wow. Sometimes they just turn out good, better than in your head. This turned out better than the picture. All right, let's go back over to my drying rack. Make sure I've got more, tip, more tip, paper clips over here for it. Mm, I do. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. Those are beautiful. Two pumpkin seeds, two green gizzard, green-filled gizzard shad things. I, it's a Missouri thing. You know, so stupid. This is so stupid. I bought fine point pens so I could sign them, and I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. So... <laughs> Thanks, Valerie. <laughs> yeah, it they are they they turned out really good, Jay. <laughs> Sorry I missed your live cast, buddy. I did leave a comment and a like on your book your live a big old flounder that you caught. Um but uh I was so tired yesterday, Jay, that uh I just went to sleep. <laughs> I just went to sleep, man. I, mean, I was so tired. All that time out on the frozen tundra. Now I'm going to go to uh, the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center and uh, 
donate those fish I caught yesterday. I'm going to wash my hands, too. So I want to thank you guys. Of course I ship to the UK. Of course. I definitely ship to the UK. So I am definitely... Um, I'm going to send you guys some stuff. I'm going to use UK... I, I actually... I'm doing some research on sea bass because you guys love to um, fish sea bass. So I want to make up some very specific baits just for my UK mates. And uh, uh, I'm going to make up some baits for you guys and send you some. One each. <laughs> and and uh, hey, Stephen. So I figure I'll send five. I think I got three or four four addresses right now so uh, Stephen I don't think I've got your address buddy so uh, go to my about and my email and uh, um, send me your address because uh, I know you're in the UK and uh, you know I'm going to do and, and if you want tell me what fish you usually like to fish and so oh pike baits yeah well pike I can make pike baits um, and I will do research and I will paint for you, um, for that species, you know, a bait fish and you guys can try it and, uh, just a few shout outs, you know, a little love towards the, the, uh, American, um, that, uh, is over here. <laughs> you know, I love you guys. I mean, the, uh. My my video today with the unboxing of the Dark Horse Tackle. You'll see. You see, I, I mentioned you guys. Rich and Leo. Uh, he was really my first Brit. You know, and uh, you guys are great. Absolutely great. So, um, wow. 83 minutes? Wow. But we did four baits. We did four baits in 83 minutes. Oh, thanks. Hey, thanks, Tony. I'm using, look. I'm using it. I'm using it. I'm using it. <laughs> I figured I'd test it on this before I go out on Monday. But I got I painted four beautiful baits. Four beautiful baits right now. I mean they are they came out better than the picture. Um, the pumpkin seed sunfish is my favorite. Uh, but those green gill gizzard shad things that I just did. Wow. <laughs> They sound great. So I'll get some uh, baits out to everybody. And, uh, and, you know, just give out some free baits and try to get some word of mouth out going, you know, going out there. Um, and hopefully we can get some orders. You know, I mean, can't hurt. So, all right, guys, I will see you guys. I'm going to the Wild Bird Rehabil or Wildlife Rehabilitation Center and give them a donation. So. I really appreciate everybody's help. So thank you. And um, I will see you. Green pumpkin exclusive color. Oh, I could do that. I could do that, Tony. I'll work on it. All right, I'll take, I'll take care, everybody.